Hello guys, this is Shiva here again. I'm back again with another powerful strategy that you can use to trade the boom and crash market. So um, in this video, I'll be showing you how to trade the regular candle, all right, using this particular indicator you are seeing here on the screen. And I will be showing you how to analyze the, um, the charts from the higher time frame, all right, in order to have the full confidence right in order to have a better confirmation and so that you have the confidence to take trade right so now before i do that i will first of all share with you the settings of this indicator right before i forget right so now the first thing you do is to click on this icon right here right so after clicking on the icon we are going to first of all add the mark d right which is one of the most powerful indicator in the trading world. Now, after clicking the MACD, now these are the parameters, all right? You are going to set it same way I did mine, all right? These are the settings right here. These are the settings. You are going to use the exact color and the exact figures I use, all right? So after doing that, you click on done. Then the next indicator here is the moving average, right? The moving average here are the parameters the period is one shift zero method simple applied to first indicators data then under this time we have three pixel the color is red right so after that you click on done then the last indicator we have here is the relative strength index right so the relative strength index the only thing we need here is just the levels right so you are going to make the period one. Once you make the period one, this color here will not show. So that, that one is not important. So just make the levels 15, right? Make it 15 and then 85. Make the pixel to pixel and then use a black color. That is if your background is white. But if your background is black, then you can use another color of your choice. Right, so after that you click on done. Then you have same screen as mine. Right, so make sure whenever you are adding all this thing, like after you have added the MACD, the, this is the F icon you'll be clicking on to add the remaining indicators. All right, so after that, you are going to have a screen like this. All right, now this is how the strategy works based on only the um, indicator. Right, so whenever you spot a movement like this, right, whenever the two indicators are on the uh, 15 level right which is the overbought oversold level sorry now the next thing you wait for is for a crossing to happen right just like it's happening now right so what i'll do now I'll wait for this particular candle to close and then i'll go in for five candles right so you wait for that crossing to occur so once the crossing occur right once the crossing occur the next thing you will do right is to is to go in for five candles right that is based on the indicator right so now i will show you guys i will show you guys another method right and this one i'll be using price action i'll be analyzing from the higher time frame so that you have a better confirmation you have confidence you know what you are doing right so now what i'll do is that i'll go to the higher time frame which is the the daily time frame now on the daily time frame i will first of all identify the trend the overall trend which is currently an uptrend right now so now i know that we are in an uptrend right and now i will step down to the four hours time frame here on the four hour time frame what i want to do my major concern right now is just the most recent structures right now these are the, the the recent structures the market made here and then here right so after identifying these levels i will step down to the one hour time frame now here on the one hour time frame i will also identify the most recent too so here is what i'm seeing right then after identifying that i will go to i will go to the um 30 minute time frame so here on the 30 minute time frame right 
here on the 30 minute time frame what i'll do now is to just add in some trend lines right because i can see an upward move right here so i will add some trend line here now so as you can see that is showing that currently the market is in an uptrend here on the 30 minute time frame right so after identifying this i will step down to the 15 minute time frame right so here on the 15 minute time frame as you can see i'm also seeing a support and resistance zone right here i'm seeing a support and resistance zone right here I will not mark it here. Let me step down to the five minute time frame so that I will mark it correctly there. All right. So here on the five minute time frame, I will just mark this zone right now. Okay. So now I know currently where price is heading right there is a level of support and resistance zone here that is giving price tough time you can see it went there it bounced back another bounce back and bounce back right so there is also a support and resistance zone right here right there's a support and resistance zone right there too the price is currently bouncing from all right so now having identified this let's step down to the one minute time frame where we wait for our indicator to give us the final confirmation right so now what i wait for is just that crossing right it's supposed to cross but that particular candle it still spiked down so you can see so now with your analysis being made right you are going to have the confidence now you know what is happening in the market right you know what price is doing now you have the understanding right that's why price action is very important right indicators do work but it works better when blend with price action right and that is what i just showed you guys here in this video all right so because of our time i'm not sure i will be taking any entry here right because I don't think I will be able to wait for that to happen. Now you can see that price broke through our resistance, right? Now, let's say you are trading based on only the indicator, right? You won't know all this thing happening now, right? If you are trading based on the indicator, you won't know what is happening. So now you can see that price is currently heading down, right? Price is, let's, let's go to the 15 minute time frame. You can see that price is currently heading down. So me now, I wouldn't want to take any position here now. Seeing what just happened, right? I wait for price to either come down here to our trend line, right? And then maybe around this area, maybe I can be taking entries, right? But before I take any entry, I will first of all wait for that crossing based on the indicator on the one minute time frame before taking any entry so this thing right now is what you will not see when you are trading based on only the indicators right because the reason why i say i will not take any trade any trade is because of this um, uh, uh, support and resistance line here all this place now is a zone right all this place now is a zone so there's there's a uh, every possibility or probability that price can do anything around this area so you just wait for either price to go down a little and then bounce back or to break the test and continue to the downside so this this is a yeah you can see you can see that guys there's another spike now which means price is heading to that trend line currently and that is where I'll be looking out to take any entries now. You can see it's currently heading down to that trend line. So whenever it gets down here, maybe this support, horizontal support and resistance line, which is our trend line, will bounce it back a little bit. 
and here I will be able to eat my five five candles and then wait for what will happen next, right? And if you are using only indicator, guys, you will not be able to know this thing. That's why, like I said, the price action is very necessary, right? When price action plus indicator are being combined, you get better results, right? So that is what I just showed you guys here in this video. And now you are seeing it for yourself. You see how it's playing out, right? So um, that is pretty much everything I have for you guys in this video today. All right? I wish there is more time for me to take entry so that you see how it works or for me to allow the video to play so that you see what will happen. But there will no, um, there is not enough time for that. All right? So... I will just have to end the video here, but the important thing is that you get the information I'm trying to pass, right? You know what I'm trying to say, right? It's very important to add price action and indicator together in order to have a better confirmation. So this is a very powerful strategy, all right? Make sure you backtest with it and then you see what I'm talking about, right? Apart from using, apart from using price action with it, it the strategy it also work well it's a very powerful strategy it has worked well in the past right you can see how it worked well here you can see here how it works well right you can see you can even use this strategy to catch spike but if only you know what you are doing right you can see here if only you know what you are doing you can decide to like take your sell entry immediately price get to that zone and then your stop loss will be above and it will come down right if it if it goes against you and it will just take you out you take small ale and that will be all right you can see it also work here so this strategy is a very powerful one when blend with price action right so that is pretty much everything i have for you guys in today's video right if you are a new subscriber make sure you subscribe Turn on your notification bell so that whenever I post a powerful strategy like this, you get notified, all right? And don't forget to um, give the video a like, all right? So that you, to YouTube will um, recommend it to others so that they can also get this powerful strategy too, all right? So that is um, everything I have for you guys today, all right? See you guys in the next video.